Hello, 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 and welcome back. If you've been following me on Twitch, then you know that back when I was a college kid, back when I was just a kid, I did pizza delivery. And I did pizza delivery for, oh, what was that, like two years? So when I was a pizza delivery driver, I delivered for a college campus. So, you know, I would run into some kind of weird and unusual stuff. You know, drunk college kids, uh, me nearly getting trampled by people fleeing the cops at a party. Cool stuff like that. But on my list of pizza delivery stories, I have a top five list. And it's the top five times I have almost died when delivering pizza. And today we're going to start at number five, because I don't want to start at number one. I got to keep you on your toes. I got to keep you wanting more. So we're going to talk about number five. The lady who tried to get me to go into her basement to possibly kill me. Oh yes, you're gonna want to hear this. So it was when I, uh, I was switching pizza places. Uh, not like pizza places, I was delivering for a specific company whose name we shall not say. Um, and they, I, I was switching from one store to the other because I was moving. And so I go and I deliver pizza to this house. And let me tell you, when you first start working for this com company, they do like a uh, a training video of what to do and what not to do in certain like delivery scenarios. And like, well, the number one thing that you do not do when you are delivering pizza is go into somebody's house. Obviously, if there's a creepy guy at the front door telling you to come, in come inside his house, you might be getting murdered that day. And you know, your girl listens to a lot of murder podcasts. I've seen forensic files, cold case files. I'm a true crime junkie. There is no way in hell I'm going into anybody's house to put a pizza inside. That is a recipe to get murdered, everybody. What they don't tell you, though, is that sometimes... It's old ladies in wheelchairs asking you to come in their house and saying no to old ladies in wheelchairs when they ask you to put the pizza on the table is really fucking hard. I'm not supposed to swear in the first like 10 minutes and my oopsie doopsies. Well, anyway, so I go to this house to deliver a pizza and a lady in a wheelchair answers the door. And so she asks me, hey, could you please help me out and put the pizza on my kitchen table for me? Um, I'm trying to get the money and I'm in a wheelchair and this is very hard. I don't want to look like a jerk. I don't want to be that person that says no to a lady in a wheelchair asking me to walk a pizza inside. I'm not going to be that person. I'm not mean. So I walked into this lady's house with the pizza and as I'm walking and I set the pizza on the table, like straight out of a horror movie, she takes her arm and closes the front door. And then I knew that I was in for a good time. And by good time, I mean not good time. I was, I was frightened. I was like, uh-oh. Like my heart dropped. I felt like I was gonna like vomit everywhere because I was so nervous. And she wheels on over to me, and this is 20, it's, it's the, it's the Hillary Clinton Donald Trump election, so that's happening in this time. And so she closes the door, wheels on over to me, and says, I could tell that you're a supporter of Trump, and a good Christian lady. And of course, I don't want to get murdered today, I'm going to agree with anything this lady says if it means me not getting murdered. I am in it for the long haul. I'm getting out of here and I'm getting out of here alive, baby. I only die on my own terms. And so I say, I lie, and I say, yes, how could you tell? And she says, I could tell from the moment I saw you that you were one of us. And I was like, what the fuck? What is going on? One of us, one of us, one of us. And I go, uh-huh, yes, I am. And she says, they're eating us alive out here. You need to be careful. And I say, oh, I know. Oh, I know. And I'm like, oh, God. Oh, God. She, that, what? 
what? And I, I'm just agreeing with anything she says, because I want to get out of here. And then she says to me, my son could use a woman like you. And I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, God. Oh, God. And she continues and says, my son's th uh, 32. He lives in my basement. Um, but I think someone like you could really, could really get him, get him on the right path. And I was thinking in my head, this, wh what? You think I, a simple pizza delivery lady, am gonna go turn your son into a businessman? Am I gonna go down there and he's gonna turn into Jeffrey Bezos? Like, what, what do you think is going, what, what do you, uh, am I a magical? Because I, I tell you, I don't even have my own life figured out, and I'm 25. At this point, I'm 21, but, you know, you know what I mean. And she says, why don't we meet my son? And I was like, oh, is he going to come up here? I, I don't have time. You know, I, I have another pizza in the car. I need to deliver that pizza. And she says, no, 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 you should come meet my son. He lives in the basement. And she grabs my arm and starts steering me towards the basement. And I'm like, uh, no, but I don't want to karate chop a lady in a wheelchair. Like, what do you do in this situation? It's hard to morally beat up a lady in a wheelchair. And I just keep like, kind of like staying where I am because, you know, a wheelchair is only so, is only so powerful. I'm, I'm pretty sturdy. My basketball coach when I was in high school, told me I was very sturdy. So I'm standing there and I'm like, no, 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 I can't, I can't meet your son. I have to go back to uh, my pizza delivery. I have another one to deliver. And she's like, oh, but he has, he might, he has the rest of the tip. He has the tip. We need to go down to the basement and get the tip from my son. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 you don't have to tip me. It's fine. It's totally fine. I don't need a tip. I just want to get out of here with my, my life is a tip enough. At this point, I will I will accept me not dying as a tip. And finally, I, I get a little free from her. And I'm like, I'm really sorry, but I, I have to leave. But I, And me knowing that this is my last week of work at this place was like, but you know, the next time you order pizza, I'll be more than willing to meet your son. I laugh. Well, I smile, but she doesn't know that I'm leaving in a week. So I was like, ha. <laughs> <laughs> and then she says oh okay and then she she uh says to me one last time she says pizza delivery lady i need you to know i need you to remember that it's not safe out there and i'm like well duh this is the middle of a of portland oregon yes it's not safe here when is Portland, Oregon been a safe place to live? I keep popping my peas. I apologize. I'm popping my peas. Um, when has Portland, Oregon ever been a safe place to live, lady? But I don't say that. I just say, uh huh. Okay. Sounds good. And then one last time she says, they're crucifying us out there. Th this time she goes drastic. We go from like, it's not safe for us out there, for us, you know, Trump-supporting Christians out there that, wink, wink, I am, I guess, at this point, because I want my life. I am not, by the way. I am not a Trump-supporting Christian. Uh-uh, uh, -uh, -uh, -uh. That, is, that is not the vibe here, everybody. That is not the vibe. But I'm trying to, I'm try I've seen enough forensic files to know where this is going. She gets me to her basement, and she's gonna fucking cut my head off. And I don't feel like being... The Parmesan cheese on the top of her pizza, but the Parmesan cheese is my flesh. I'm not having any of that. And so finally, I get out of there, and I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. And I get back to the store and say, never send me there again. If she orders in the next week, which I don't think she will, but you know, this is Dom D Domingo's Pizza. This is Domingo's Pizza. Who, who knows? Yeah, I delivered to a guy who literally ordered every single day. He would order a pizza, uh, or no, not a pizza, a sandwich with double meat, double cheese, and some uh, dessert every single day. Like, you know, th there's people who do do that. And so I get back to the store and I tell my my boss, I'm like, if she orders again, 
I am not going there. And I told them what happened and uh, they were like, oh no, oh, oh no. We'll, we'll send this other person who's this uh, six foot five, like buff guy. I'm like, yeah, she could try to lead him into her basement, not me. I'm not in the mood to be murdered. Like, I want to die, but I want to die on my own terms. Not because an old lady gets me to her basement to meet her quote-unquote son, who I'm not even sure exists. What if she was, like, building this, this like, she doesn't even a actually have a son, and she's just making up this, like, person. She's like, I know what would be this pizza delivery lady's type. A son who lives in my basement. That, that right there, that's her type. Well, thank you all for watching. Thanks for joining in. And, uh, of course, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It's free. It costs you nothing. And it means the world to me, of course. Follow me on my socials, which are probably linked in the description. Who knows? I think I do. I'm going to do that. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And I'll see you next time. Bye.